Your Loan Portal is an easy, secure way to keep track of your progress toward a mortgage loan. When you log in to Mortgage Circles, you'll be able to communicate with your loan officer, complete your 1003 loan application, upload and receive files, and more. To get started, open the Mortgage Circles website in your mobile browser. You will also need to open the email sent to you by your loan officer about your new portal. In this email, you will be given a Mortgage Pro ID and a password for access to your portal. To log in, just put this information into the Mortgage Circles website at the top of the page. Your loan officer may provide you with a password in a separate email for security purposes. Alternatively, you can also log in to Mortgage Circles using the last four digits of your social security number as the password, if you have already supplied your loan officer with this information. The first page you will see upon logging into Mortgage Circles is the dashboard. This page will give you a brief overview of your loan status. At the top of your dashboard, you can swipe side to side to navigate between your dashboard features, including any milestones you have completed in the mortgage process, any documents you need to upload or sign electronically, and how much of your loan application you have completed. The pre-approval calculator lets you enter information regarding your income, credit score, and mortgage in order to request pre-approval. This tool also lets you see a detailed payment breakdown and estimated payment schedule for a potential loan. Lastly, you'll find a log of any messages sent between yourself and your loan officer. This will include any images and SMS text messages sent too. You can also chat with Maya, your Mortgage AI Assistant, by tapping the speech bubble icon in the upper right corner of your screen. She is always available to help you with your mortgage loan, whether that be through answering questions about mortgage terms, checking on your loan status, or getting a quote. In the upper left corner of your screen, you can tap the icon to access the navigation menu for your portal. You can see the various options available by swiping up and down, and you can tap any link to open a page. You can return to the dashboard at any time by tapping the topmost option in this menu. The tools and options shown here may differ from those that your loan officer has enabled for your loan portal. If you see something here that doesn't show up in your portal, you can always contact your loan officer. In the Loan App page, you can fill out your 1003 loan application form online. Instead of a confusing paper form, this tool lets you go through the application step-by-step -step via this portal site. The application form you see here will be customized for you by your loan officer. The best part about this loan application is that you can stop at any time without losing your progress. Whenever you tap the Save and Continue to Next Page button at the bottom of a page, the data entered will be saved. When you log into your portal again later, you can pick up the application right where you left off. The My Documents page hosts a list of all documents your loan officer has requested, that you have uploaded, and that need to be signed electronically. You can navigate between these lists using the tabs at the top of the page. If your loan officer requests that you send them documents, you will see a description of the requested file, the date it was requested, and the date you need it submitted by. To the right, you can use the Upload link to find a file on your mobile device and submit it. In the Uploaded list, you can see a list of files that you have uploaded and that your loan officer has made available for your access. To send or store documents here, tap the Upload button at the top of the list. You can always delete files you have uploaded that you no longer wish to be available here, but you cannot delete files that your loan officer has shared with you. Lastly, your loan officer may also send you forms that you can sign securely online. This can include full signatures, initials, dates, and more. Simply tap the pencil icon to open the document, 
fill out any signature fields and tap Sign Document at the bottom of the page. You can also download or print the document using the icons below and you can customize your signature using the gear icon to the right. Once you have successfully submitted the document, you'll see a green check mark to the right. The Refinance Analysis page will show any potential refinance plans that your loan officer has created and sent to you. Using your mortgage information, your loan officer can showcase potential savings and compare various refinance plans here. When you view these refinance analyses, you can read the various plan proposals, run calculations for the loan programs, and review a detailed breakdown of the pros and cons of each option. This lets you educate yourself and make the best possible choice. If any mortgage partners are helping with your loan, like a realtor, listing agent, or insurance agent, your loan officer will send you their contact information in the Loan Contacts page. You'll see a list of these partners here, and you can tap the I icon to view their phone numbers, emails, and office locations so you can stay in communication. In the Profile page, you can switch between loans with this company if you have multiple current mortgages. Below, you can tap the Logout button to leave Mortgage Circles. If you are having a good experience with your loan officer, you can refer anyone you know who is looking for a mortgage loan or home refinance to them in the Refer a Friend page. Any contact information you send here will only be seen by the loan officer's business. Lastly, you can use the Contact Us page to get in touch with your loan officer directly. You can use the links here to call, message, or email them with any questions or comments. You can also contact your loan officer by tapping their name in the bottom of your menu.